Um, hi. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, my name is Nikki and this is my book nook. Y'all, today we are talking about Under Lock by Mariana Zapata. If you have been watching me for any amount of time, you'll know that lately I have been an absolute freaking simp for Mariana Zapata. I swear every single thing she writes, I'm just, I eat it up. She is just the queen of slow burn. I've said it a thousand times, but it is the truth. She is also the queen of telling romance stories that are just different. She's very good at picking unique and interesting settings and just situations. Like all her books are just so different from things that I normally read and just have such a different feel and vibe to them. They're just so comfy and so impossible to put down. And this one was one of the absolute best. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, five freaking stars. The Wall of Winnipeg and Me has been my favorite by her so far, but this, I'll explain more as we go because they're just so different. Like they're both five stars, but I feel like they both satisfy different wants and needs. I'll elaborate more on that later, but let's just get into it. So this story follows this girl named Iris. At the beginning of the story, we learn that she lives in Florida, but she has had a really hard time the last few months. She's been unemployed for about six months at this point. She cannot get a job anywhere. She's really struggling financially. So she is now going to move in with her half brother, Sonny, who lives in Austin, Texas. They share a dad. Uh, They're both estranged from him. He is really not a good person. He was a member of a motorcycle gang, which now Sonny is actually still a part of very important part of the story, the motorcycle gang. But yes, Iris is moving to Austin so she can live with Sunny and he has gotten her a job with one of the other motorcycle club members slash kind of his best friend. His name is Dex, Dex Locke, hence the under lock. And she is going to be working for him at his tattoo studio. So she's going to be like the studio assistant kind of secretary person, front desk girl situation. And Iris does not know this whenever she shows up for her first day, but Dex has gone through many front desk girls at his uh, tattoo studio. He cannot keep anyone working for him because he is an absolute asshole jerk, just so strict and mean and has such high expectations and has no patience to help anybody with anything because i mean he's just he is just like a hothead and a jerk but he's just focused on his work and his tattooing and he doesn't have time to train somebody how to do every single thing more than once and her and him do not get off on the best foot. I mean, Iris is very good at holding her tongue for all of five minutes, but she very quickly puts this man in his place, this like six foot four, dark haired, blue eyed, freaking tattooed, neck to toe, motorcycle man in his place. And he does not know how to handle it. Um, along with being like the owner of this tattoo studio and just being a massive guy that doesn't get talked back to normally anyways. Um, he's also like a very prominent member of the motorcycle club. He's very respected. So people don't talk badly to Dex. And so whenever Iris comes up in here and doesn't let him give her anything, he simply does not know what to do with her. And it's so freaking good you guys know if you know me enemies to lovers workplace romance is my favorite type of book my favorite type of trope it just ugh, there's always so much tension there's always so much angst the forced proximity of having to work together every day under the same roof having to like interact with other people and them not knowing what's going on with you two but being able to sense it like oh my god and theirs is just so freaking good and then there's the added aspect of like brother's best friend a lot happens throughout this story again because it's a mariana zapata book it, it's a slow burn it's a, just a, a big build of like them working together them doing various things together like their relationship very slowly building dex's harsh exterior and walls slowly coming down for only iris because of course it has to um along with that i mean there's some other like drama with the whole motorcycle club aspect of this that iris gets swept up into things get a little crazy things get a little dangerous and if you're a fan of the touch her and you die trope or just that vibe in general i promise you'd love this book like i said before the wall of winnipeg and me is like one of my favorite books ever it's been my favorite by mariana zapata so far and that one is also like a boss employee 
workplace romance but with that one I feel like that was just like comforting and butterflies and fuzzy feelings in my tummy and like I just want to like marry that man right the second where this book is like I mean the guy in that book is also like angsty and like not the nicest but Dex is like whole other story we're talking like chainsaws and freaking bombs and grenades and just craziness just anger and <laughs> angst and just like undying freaking passion like Walla Winnipeg and me I want to be in it this I don't know if I can handle being in it if you know what I mean like this was so freaking good and another thing I will mention Mariana Zapata is also known where some people don't like this but I tend to appreciate it she's not super spicy her books take a very long time for things to build up and then there's usually like one scene of sorts at the end that's so worth it and just all the tension explodes this book was by far by a mile the spiciest of any of her books so far that i've read there were a lot of scenes of a lot of stuff and i just was blushing like a freaking tomato um at certain points because i was reading this in the back seat of my car on my family vacation hi mom and dad um it was it was a little wild um but yeah i don't want to say too much else because i want you guys to go and read this book it was totally a five star for me i feel like this is a really short little review but i gotta leave something to the imagination i just want to give you the basic idea i mean girl moves to a new town that's always fun gets a new job with an angsty very attractive boss the tattoo studio setting was really cool and different iris especially coming into it being a very like innocent girl no tattoos like wearing button-up shirts and little like fancy pants and everyone else in there is just like in band tees and she just doesn't fit in at all so that's always kind of like a fun thing and then the motorcycle club just added some extra spice to all of it there's a big force proximity element to this <laughs> cough cough the one bed trope we all love it um it just yes i'm rambling because i'm just trying to say more things but go read this freaking book if you're a fan of mariana zapata if you're not this is a great place to start a solid enemies to lovers one of the best i've read in a really long time and actually this was my very first book that i read to start 2022 and i can't imagine a better way it's gonna be a great year um yeah that is it for me today if you guys have read under lock give me all your thoughts on it down below i would love to chat with you about it but yes i will talk to you guys very soon thank you so much for watching bye